A few weeks ago Visual Studio 2022 17.7 got released. As usual, I want to quickly go through all the changes in this release and highlight the features that I believe have the biggest impact on .NET developers. Let me know in the comments below what you think has the biggest impact on your everyday work. There is a new version of the GitHub Copilot Visual Studio extension that provides an improved developer experience. The integration into IntelliSense has further improved and uses more contextual information to provide better suggestions. In the Solution Explorer, we see a new node called GitHub Actions. It shows all existing GitHub Actions and allows us to create new actions directly from inside Visual Studio. Besides a few game development related improvements for C++ and the Unreal Engine, we got performance improvements when searching in files and when previewing or applying code refactorings using the light bulb. Finding files is about 50% faster in some cases and the C Sharp spell checker uses up to 90% less memory. When copying source code into another program, we often have to fix indentation. With this new version, Visual Studio fixes this issue. This will be one of the features that has the biggest impact on my everyday work. We can finally compare files directly within Visual Studio. It was a highly upvoted community ticket that made it into this release. I personally don't use the integrated Git client, but with this version, we got a better multi-branch graph that helps perform and understand actions that affect multiple branches. I have never worked with the parallel stacks window before. However, with this release, we get new filtering options that should be further improving the developer experience. If that's something you regularly use, let me know in the comments. If you made it that far into the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more free .NET development content. A new Collapse All Descendants command in the Solution Explorer allows us to recursively close all folders. It's definitely a great new feature for developers working on large-scale solutions. Auto decompilation for external .NET code when debugging is a game changer. Whenever we step into external code, Visual Studio decompiles it and allows us to see the external code. We can even set breakpoints and debug the external code. This even works when double clicking on a stack trace. A few new features for the CPU usage tool and integration to ask the Copilot chat extension for an explanation were added with this Visual Studio release. When using npm in an ASP.NET project, the Solution Explorer will now provide the option to install, update and remove npm packages. I don't know anything about the Power Platform. However, we get the option to connect ASP.NET Core Web API projects to the Power Platform. Let me know if that's something that's helpful to you. I will skip over C++ specific features cause I don't use them and I believe that most of you are .NET developers like me. The HTTP editor introduced in version 17.5 has a few improvements. They added a formatted response view capable of displaying JSON responses and we can now choose to run or debug an HTTP request. When creating new React projects, we can now choose Wheat as the tooling instead of create React app. We can also choose Wheat for view projects. I have been transitioning from create React app to Wheat and I would never want to go back. It's great to see that Microsoft provides this option out of the box. The Visual Studio installer can now be used with a regular Windows account instead of an admin account. Read more about how to achieve that in the link in the video description. As always, I want to point out that Microsoft listens to the developer community and usually one or two new features are rooted in community feedback. If you have anything that you'd love to see in Visual Studio, let them know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.